are back. Welcome back to the Nick Hall Comedy Podcast. I'm your host, Nick Hall. Joined, as always, by... Josh Griffey. If you are listening to this podcast right now on, like, Apple or Spotify or wherever, watching it on YouTube, go ahead and jam those like buttons and, uh, you know, leave us a review. We, You know, it helps us and stuff. And we appreciate it, and we like to read, you know... We like to read nice things about ourselves. It doesn't happen a lot. It doesn't happen a lot. <laughs> if you want some sweet uh, gear, just go on over to uh, CoachKitMurphy.com slash shop. There you go. And uh, enough of that. Enough of that. Uh, I'm against ads. <laughs> no, I'm not. If somebody wants to jump on, go, you go Come on. We want ship that tru- those checks. Yeah. We need that truly sponsorship. We're working on some other big moves. <laughs> I'm into it. Yeah, man. Uh, so some of you last week who joined us, we did a kind of a live podcast last week. Yep. You know, the start of baseball was upon us. Yeah, we had to do something. It was um, baseball day. Dude, it's baseball day. And it has been good to have baseball back. It's been great. But it has been strange. So there's some weird stuff happening in baseball. What are your thoughts so far on the early season? Uh, Well, first of all, it's no surprise that the Marlins are also <laughs> they're, they're, they're the worst at baseball and also the worst at following protocol, yeah. the worst at staying healthy. <laughs> they're just the worst. Like literally like, the tip of the prick that uh, is Florida. Uh, yeah, honestly, I was surprised to see them playing because I, from what I understood, the minor league season was canceled. So <laughs> Shots fired, <laughs> I had to Miami. throw that joke in. Yeah. Ding. If only they had fans to get upset about that. Joke. No, it's been good. Like, uh, you know, I've, I've been watching pretty much every one of my Reds games, mm-hmm. which, uh, you know, I do this every year. I'm like, hey, you know what? I think we're going to be good this year. Fucking two and four. Mm-hmm. You know, you predicted a World they, Series. They, <laughs> they find a way to let me down every year. And yeah. I just keep coming back for more. It's really, you know, I'm really starting to lean into, uh, you know, maybe I should just, you know, be like you and just, you know, get a new team whenever I want. Yeah. You know, you know, what's strange, though, is baseball is the team that I have followed. That is, I the know biggest that's like your failure, one team. Yeah, yeah. But I really have not like them yeah. and IU basketball are the two that it's yeah. like they only exist to hurt me. Yeah. And I those two, I don't quit. Yeah, I don't quit. Like, I actually I, I don't really travel a lot. My thing is, I know I talked about I think people should be fluid fans. Give your money elsewhere. Right. Like if you're a Browns fan, fuck them. Come back when they're good. Go give your money to another team to put their yeah. feet to the fire. But I really don't do that. What I do is I just check out. Like, yeah. if my team's real bad. Yeah. You just be like, all right, I'll just watch, like, the Sunday night game of the week and, yeah. you know, fuck this season. <laughs> well, and that's, like, that's what sucks, uh, you know, even worse for the Marlins fans. Is that, well, they don't have any, like, they don't have any legends. Like, every team record they mm-hmm. have is, like, 50 home runs. Like total, because everybody only just plays there for a year, and if they're good, they're like, okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> you know. What Every I mean? now and again, they'll jump in and buy yeah. one. Yeah. It's like, look at what we did, and then everyone leaves. Yeah. You know that was the sad thing. The Marlins even went through like the the Jose Fernandez thing. So yeah. you're like, that guy had legend. He was great. Written on him. Yeah. You're like, that could be the fucking yep. thing, and then tragedy strikes, yeah. and that there are fan base. There's certain things where it's like, dude, this is a curse. Like you gotta. There's bad, yeah. you know, like we were just watching this documentary on 80s horror movies. It's like, that's Poltergeist, dude. <laughs> like, I don't know what you built that stadium, you know, the the <laughs> burial ground of taxpayer dollars or whatever. Like, yeah. leave that shit. Well, is- <laughs> you know, I, yeah, but I was thinking too, I was thinking also about the Marlins is is this. Because mm-hmm. like, what, they have 18 that tested positive, right? Nobody on the other team tested, which is good. That's good for baseball. Like, nobody else is testing positive. Which is hard to believe. Mm-hmm. So my conspiracy is this. Yeah. The Marlins are so bad that even their team doctors are bad. And they don't know <laughs> they don't know how to administer the tests. Like <laughs> they're like swabbing guys' eyebrows. He's like, I think it's I think it's positive. I don't know. I really I don't know how to do this. They pull it out of the <laughs> nose and they're like, No boogers, clear. <laughs> Look, I'm a doctor, but I live in South Beach, man. I don't really like practice. Dude. <laughs> you know. I mean, what we've learned this week, too, is that there are bad doctors. I don't know if you heard about uh, the demon sperm. The demon sperm doctor. Because I got on Twitter, and I was like, oh, Uh, demon sperm is trending. I'm like, this is my day. Like, I'm in. I love when people post Breitbart shit, and they're like, yep, truth. Like, (laughs) not really. Well, it's funny. (laughs) They're basically like the onion that doesn't know they're telling jokes. (laughs) (laughs) Well, they know, just their audience doesn't. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) 
Dude, that one that one was funny because that lady come to find out she's been sued for medical mal like she has like a lawn like, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, she's all, essentially yeah. like a, a scam, right? Yeah, As they're a human all shit being. Bags, yeah. But then all of a sudden she's like on the steps of the Capitol, like saying like bim, 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 bim. and everyone's like, see? <laughs> see? Like that's cause this is my thing. You go to the comments and I'm I saw something that's on like a, a men's men's health. I don't know. I'm yeah, getting yeah. I'm getting targeted by Facebook now because <laughs> I looked up one article on like <laughs> yeah. hey how can my fat body try to like get back to a pull up? Right. Yep, yep. I was like, how can I do that? Right. I put some rings in my garage. I'm like, it's, it's the time it's, <laughs> it's the time of transformation into the beast. And so I, I looked up one thing. So right. now I get inundated with, Oh yeah. Best way to get jacked. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, not, that's not me. Like I'm trying to be less fat. Right. Like I want to play with my kids and not be like, you know? <laughs> like my kids will literally be like, daddy, pick me up. You're like, yeah, the knee's going to blow. Not like, a chance. Yeah. I, I want to do that level. You of got fitness, a fat right? dad, kids. Yeah, right? Get used to it, pal. Get me a beer. <laughs> Exercise yourself. But uh, that's their other thing too, is when I smoke cigars, they run up on me now. And they're like, I thought you were trying to be better. And I'm like, do you want to make it to kindergarten? You little fuck. Yeah, you're gross. Mom said that's killing you. I'm like, I'm going to kill all of you. We're going to watch Amityville Horror tonight and see oh, what's it's up. It's a good thing I'm oh. not a dad. Oh, it's bad. They saw dude. me on a you know, random Wednesday night. <laughs> I know. What are you I was doing? Like, I'm mostly not doing like drugs and drinking that much anymore. Like, Can we be friends? Like, right. God damn. But, uh, so I got this article, right? And it was the men's health, like, here are some things that are inaccurate about the Breitbart or Breitbart, whatever it yeah, is, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. video, yeah, yeah. right? And I was like, okay, so it was a doctor telling other people for public safety, like, this is probably not right. Right. And I was just like, for argument's sake. I was like, if I'm doing an over-under, right? I've been gambling again with baseball back. I was like, if I was betting myself, what odds would I get that the guys that are looking up the, who do we get jacked <laughs> articles yeah. are going to be kind of even yeah. reasonable-minded commenters. None. Yeah, the odds are bad. And I went in the comments and I was just like, this this is why yeah. we can't have nice things, it's universe. Absolutely why. Just like a guy who literally has like a tank top that string seems to be measured to the width of his areola, telling <laughs> doctors, you don't know shit, dog. <laughs> it's like, what? Yeah. The fucking balls of us as a society is yeah. madness. Oh, yeah. Well, like the, uh, somebody on Twitter posted about that, that Breitbart thing or whatever. And he was like, he's like, did you notice that it was like a press conference? Mm -hmm. But uh, Breitbart was the only one that showed up, apparently. Like, weird, huh? <laughs> you know? He's That's like, strange. if it was a real press conference, you know, probably be like other media outlets. <laughs> But uh, they're just like, hey, kid, bring your phone over yeah. here. Let's go. He's yeah. like, that's he's like, that's, you know, that's the first thing where you're like, oh, red flag. This is yeah. probably bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, I saw a really good conspiracy this week. And it was um, because that fucking human mouth breather guy, the guy that looks like the lungfish. Right. Louis Gohmert. Right. And I was like, <laughs> I there's no one is. with that name who's not an idiot. Right. He's like yeah. a congressman, I guess. No, nah, sure. And he was out there like you can find the because everyone's posting the dunk on video. Right. He's like. A mask will actually make you sicker. And he's like refusing to wear a mask guy. Yeah. He just got COVID. Good. And another guy, Herman Cain, died of COVID, I guess, Saw today. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, fuck, dude, this is like a serious thing. They're going to take it serious. Yeah, yeah. No. None of that. No, and then, not. like, Trump had the guy from Brazil, right? Bolsonaro, the president yeah. or whatever. He came. A bunch of them were sick. Yeah. And so a conspiracy theory online is that Trump has had it. <laughs> and he's had it this whole time. Yeah. And I was like, I don't buy that conspiracy. Yeah, I don't either. So I was like, he's fucking giant, bulbous, fat, <laughs> like fast food grease riddled yeah. body. Like he's the most at risk yeah. for it, right? Yeah. But they, because that's the other thing I read is that someone was posting. They're like, dude, Trump is the Antichrist. Well, yeah. And I'm always into Antichrist. But maybe right? he did have it, but you know, he's got like a tremendous. He's got a tremendous immune well, no, system. This is the thing. Ask anybody, they all say it's a tremendous. <laughs> they say it's the best immune system. Just gold plated ass kicking. <laughs> it's the best immune system. Just ask anybody. They were just telling me the other day. I got a great immune system. It's, it's, it's the best. It's tremendous. <laughs> uh, my immune system also wants to fuck my daughter. But it's a. Uh, <laughs> But I was just like, I was like, I don't think he's had it. So I was like, his 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 big bod, yeah. Like as a fellow big bod guy, like I'm two eighty. Trump is definitely if he's two inches taller than me, Trump is definitely three thirty. Oh, he's three fifty, yeah. Yeah, like he, I mean, his yeah. giant fat body yeah. pressed into those like tennis shorts. Yeah, I'm like, I know that outfit because it's every <laughs> outfit I have. Because I feel I feel ashamed of myself yeah. to go into a store and buy new basketball shorts. Yeah. 
Because they're going to be like, well, you're not using these for anything. Why do you? So, like, I wear oh, shorts. laying around shorts, huh? Yeah. I have, like, four pairs of shorts that are just for the morning. Yeah. So, if the neighbor kids come over, they don't see my dong. But they're tight. Like, I, I know the Trump life. I was like, I get that bod, right? And so, my theory is he, he hasn't had it, right? But then someone started laying out the case for Trump as the Antichrist. And one of the big giveaways, right? When everyone's like, Obama's the Antichrist. He's so charming and smooth and he's destroying yeah, yeah. everything. Every you're president like, has, like, had an yeah. Antichrist theory. And you're sure. like... Obama and Clinton, it's like, sure, they got swag, they're smooth, something like that, right? Maybe. But it's too obvious. Yeah. Trump, it would be almost so on brand if he was the Antichrist, right? And everything ended in 2020 with him, like, canceling the elections. He gets his little horns. You know, Ivanka has, like, fire tits and wings. It's like, Wah! And you're like, whoa! That's kind of badass! Yeah, this is the coolest election ever! <laughs> right? But I was like, that's too on brand. Yeah. So and he could be like Al Pacino and like Devil's Advocate. But like, that's what call I mean. me dad. Yeah. But when you watch the Devil's Advocate, you're like, something's definitely wrong with Pacino. But Pacino, yeah. Right. So, he's but that's devil. what I mean. So Trump being the anti, he's almost so perfectly written for it that it becomes its own disguise. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like when you watch the Scream movies. The Scream movies play on, we know that you know all the rules, so we're going to trick you. See, I would laugh right? more, so though, armor. if it came out like, but it, like, but it turned out that he's God. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you guys are wrong. I'm kind of an asshole. I'm God. <laughs> he just goes, he's like, I'm I'd be like, oh, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> he's like, I'm the second coming. I got you. I was testing all your morality. A lot of you failed. I'd be no, way but, into that. I mean, this is the thing, though. So this guy starts off his campaign saying that a whole nation of people are rapers. <laughs> right. Yeah. And it just gets worse from there, mostly. <laughs> yeah. But he, he literally is invincible. Yeah. Right. And the way you just see him like bend these other human beings to his will. Yeah. He's been no mask. As someone said in his meetings, right, he got bored of coronavirus early and he's sick of it. <laughs> so like they don't even try to mention it. But people all around him have gotten it. He's been around all these sick fucks yeah. and he's not sick. <laughs> like that's he has the hellfire in his body. It's yeah, burning out yeah. infections. Yeah. I'm telling you, if, if 2020 and because today's big uproar is he's like, we should maybe postpone the election for safety? Question mark. You know, I love how he always puts a question mark so he can go back on it. But I was like, this is the thing, dude. If it comes out and he yeah. literally like the White House erupts into like a heavy metal fire pit. Yeah. Right. And Melania is just blah, 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 blah. or maybe or he is wearing masks everywhere. And every time you see him, <laughs> every time you see him, it's just a stand in and they're deep fake in the videos. Dude, that would be awesome. He does really get, he's he does at get home tested three to five times a day. I really? Think. He's at home with his mask on, like actually like doing everything you're supposed yeah. to do. And then they just send some schlub out to these like events and then just deep fake Trump's face onto it. <laughs> it's like, Griffey, get your fat bot out there. Conspiracy. Conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we're not here for real politics, by the way, guys. Yeah. Only conspiracies. I, yeah, I'm not talking yeah. about Trump and yeah. his policies. I'm talking yeah. about him maybe being the Antichrist, because that's cool. Conspiracies yeah. all day. You know what's cool about politics? Nothing. Fucking nothing. Nothing. It's like, go watch C-SPAN. That's politics, and it's boring, and it's horrible. <laughs> we don't even have politicians uh, that fist fight anymore. Yeah. Like, our big thing this week was that some guy called AOC a bitch, and it became like an ordeal. And I was like, do you know how many times they probably say that shit about each other all the time? All the time. And we're like doing this. Well, it's civility. I'm like, no, it's not civility. It's politics. It's blood sport. Like, yeah. God, we don't even fist fight anymore. Like we should have like Thunderdome. Yeah. So, so politics suck. Yeah. And I they're boring. It. I hate them. But if Trump was the Antichrist, yeah, here's man. the other here's the other argument for this. Right. Yeah. So he picks like literally the most lily white doily of a human being. Mike Pence is his running. Mate, right. <laughs> yeah. Mr. I'm the religious good yeah. man. I'll never be hey, seen with another I, woman. I'm from Indiana, bro. I know yeah. him well. We know all yeah. about Pence, right? Yep. No reason to be where he is. None. <laughs> no. But he has that, like, you know, that kind of polished, you mm -hmm. know, lily white in the pews shit, right? Yeah, yeah. The fact that Trump chose him, to me, is also really good evidence <laughs> of perhaps Antichrist. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, if you've ever seen the Omen series... These are classic maneuvers. Right? Well, yeah, and like well, when Pence was running for governor in Indiana, like originally, like his like major platform was like how much he hated gay people, <laughs> like for real, like yeah. like that was like in his ads and shit, and like how marriage should just be man and woman, or like whatever. If you agree, it with would that. just be Pence's face, and he'd go, "Gays, gross, <laughs> right, <laughs> right." And it's like it's the same thing you're saying. It's like, like how how do you do that and then still get 
I like that's your bullet beats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's Satan all, Jr. Like Trump is Trump could have won with Palin. Like he's all the way. But that's what I mean. He's such a because there's this other theory is that his bumbling buffoonery. Right. Like they say this with like him and Boris Johnson. Yeah. Like Boris Johnson tussles his hair. So he looks like a fucking yeah. baby Huey before interviews because it gives him a well shucks if it doesn't yeah. work. And I'm like, so are they really these clever like double agents or. Is there a supernatural force? Which yeah. makes more sense to you? I don't you know. You know, I fucking I I uh I sent like an email to uh Palin's uh campaign when they were uh when like when they were running with when she yeah. was running and cuz I thought of like the greatest campaign slogan for him. Like I don't care if they win or not. Like I I wasn't going to vote, you know what I mean? Not my thing, but uh I was like I just had a great and cuz like they're on the campaign trail, so I was like you should be trailing with Palin. You know what I mean? <laughs> And they never used it. And I was like, dude, I don't, I don't want anything. I'm just, yeah. you know, and I was, it wasn't, I wasn't even like sitting around trying to think of anything for either side. It just came to me one day. Trailing I was like, Palin. why aren't they doing that? Trailing for Palin. Now that trailing with Palin. Yeah, I mean. Now that we're on Sarah Palin. Yeah. When I was in LA, right. I used to work in post-production and I knew a guy, the guy who was above me in post, right. He would get like side editing gigs, right. Editing, yeah. you know, movies or small stuff, whatever reels, whatever. He came to me one day and he's like, hey, man, do you want to uh, get a gig, right? Make some side money. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, what is it? And he's like, uh, it's for Nail and Palin. <laughs> and I was like, what? The porn? It was yeah. the porno, yeah. Nail and Palin. Oh, yeah, and I, I remember like, that well. What? Yeah. Because he had a dude who was hooked up at Hustler or one of the porno Did he want places. you to bang in it? No, I, I oh. wasn't. I mean, I could have back then. I was I was quite Odonis like I had a haircut. I had like beautiful five o'clock shadow and yeah. not like whatever's happening now. But I was like, I was like, I, I mean, I guess like, is it really her? Like, she's pretty. Yeah, like, I'll do it. I'll be the bulldog soccer dad. Like, let's go. Yeah. But no, it's just like to edit the porno. Nail and fucking bucket. awesome. And I didn't do it. Cause I can't remember if I had like a softball tournament or something. I was like, ah, oh, this is inconvenient. You- but it was oh, just so the quick. worst. I know because my buddy took it. But like, and then I was like, wait, so like a lot of these gigs like you're taking are like porno. He's like, yeah, and I, was like, what? Yeah. So I could have been a porn editor, dude. When, if when I made a better choice, I'm telling you, when I lived out there, whenever I was on the 405, I had I always had to go to this office mm. up off the 405 and I would pass the fucking uh, Brazzers mm-hmm. they had that office building with the big yeah. Brazzers sign. <laughs> and like I just like wherever I was going, like to these meetings. I was just like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I'm going to go put my application in. <laughs> and I never did. But like every time I pass, I was like, dude, I'm going to. Today's the day I'm going to go. <laughs> What's your application? It's just I a Polaroid right of your dick with Nick. Yeah, I'll be like, what, are you guys hiring? <laughs> I'll take any job and work my way up to plowing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know right. What I mean? <laughs> I'm going to start off as I'll the mopper. Yeah, I'll sweep the office. Yeah. And then you know? I'm going to be bumping. Next sheets. week I'll be on fries. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Craft service <laughs> fries with Nick. <laughs> And then you're going to be like, God, this guy is good at slinging grease. <laughs> now I'm on camera. And like, well, like every now and then, every now and then, you know, like I'll just get like, you know, I'll be like sweeping the office and I'll just get like, I'll, I'll figure out how to get myself a little hard and just hang it out and be like, oh, my bad. You know, when people say my bad, I don't know. Did you like it? Did you like anything? Anything? <laughs> I didn't know cop salad like- came with an <laughs> erection in it. It's, it's my a, own personal it's touch. A cock you- salad today. <laughs> if you like it, it's okay. <laughs> so, I mean, if you do, if not, I won't do. Okay, you don't. You don't like it. Okay. I mean, some people like a lot of dressing. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. No, it was because that was funny, too, because if you right by Universal Studios off the 101, they had the Hustler. Oh, yeah. Building. Yeah, yeah. And so every now and again, when I was drinking and driving and I shouldn't have been, I'd be like, I should probably take the pass instead of the 101. That's like a tricky. It's yeah. like a curvy. Route. I'm like, this is so stupid. <laughs> but you'd be driving through like at bar hours and you just see like someone outside in a bathroom smoking. <laughs> and I was like, what a life. Oh, so what a life. You're just like, oh, God, I just banged for four hours. <laughs> You know, you're just outside on the street smoking yeah. a city. Well, they had the the hustler the hustler store was like down down on uh, in uh, like by the comedy store or whatever, like not yeah. too far from there. Because I used to like just you know I'd be out there like Popping. waiting to get up, waiting to get on stage. We're like, oh, I'll, I'll go check out some sex stuff real oh, quick. Oh yeah. Well, when I first got to LA, this was before like the big like internet porn explosion. Yeah. yeah. So my buddy hat was it going in the navy. He's like, dude, I'm gonna be in Guam for like years, and he's like. I don't know if the internet's good over there. Like, I need some materials. Yeah. And I was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> and we went into a port, and I was like, holy shit, dude. This is like that. Because I remember legit. the movie 8 Millimeter. Yeah. And I was like, are we about to see, like, the murder porns? And, like, we're going to get oh, caught up in an ordeal. Yeah. We're going to get hunted by Snuff Nick Cage. porn right in yeah, real like, life, dude. dude. 
I was yeah. like, I could, but like, I literally had that, like, dude, I could get a job working here. Cause like, when you're in the Midwest, <laughs> like, I'll work at like an Arby's movie theater factory. You're like, dude, I could be like the cashier at this fucking spank tank. Like, yeah, dude. <laughs> if you ever at the, if you ever at a porn shop and a guy with like a trench coat and like the rain hat comes up to you and he's like, yeah, if, if, uh, what do you know about Mickey Two Face? You know, something like that. You're like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> ah, here we go. <laughs> oh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I was just looking for stepmom stuff. Here we go. And maybe this will refresh your memory. Yeah. You know, they slide. But like we went in and it was a serious like that was one of those you're like, I think it's actually a good thing that we lost. Right. Yeah. Is when we went to Internet, it's so you're so separated from it. Right. Yeah. Like me and my brother were arguing because I called him a dumbass because he's like, yeah, I fall asleep watching Korean guys play League of Legends. Right. This yeah. video game. And I was like, they're just talking Korean. He's like, yeah, but they're really good. And I can like learn. I'm like. You learn about video games before right. you go to bed. He's like, you learn about porn. I yeah. was like, which skill do you think our wives appreciate more, you fuck? <laughs> I was like, let's go. Let's have this debate. And so I was like, but it has become this clinical thing. You don't have to do it. But like, no. when we walked into that store, there is an aura, an atmosphere Absolutely. of danger. It's Yeah, it's fucking awesome. And so awesome. It, it puts into you like yeah. what happens when these things are made. And, the, and <laughs> like there was a thing about porno stores in L.A. where it was, and this was in the 2000s not even like the 80s and shit <laughs> but it was it was intense yeah and i kind of miss that like we were again we were watching that documentary in search of darkness right the 80s yeah. horror movies i remember as a kid going to the video store and the excite like i miss those like in-person things yeah but they even would have well, the like saloon door right yeah video that was Land a thing like a family video door. they had the back <laughs> they had the back room yeah with the saloon door but it wasn't like a full door. No. So like when I was a kid, I would just go lay on the floor and look under the door <laughs> and See just like titties. stare at boxes until yeah. my mom was like, what are you doing? I was like, nothing. I was looking for the Sega games. I'm looking for pervs to call <laughs> yeah. them out, mom. Uh, I thought the Sega games were over here. My bad. Oh, it <laughs> was the best because I remember like the whore aisle, right? Like the yeah. further you get, it'd be like UFC VHSs <laughs> and like horror yeah. movies. Watching like Hoyt Gracie just whip people's ass yeah. on VHS. Yeah. You're like, do you want to watch Tank Abbott and Pinhead? And I was like. <laughs> Yes, yes, that sounds great. Yes, I do. And like I'd be over there and my mom would get pissed. I wasn't supposed to wander into the whore aisle, but yeah. I was like, those covers are so hypnotic and amazing, right? Yep. Like when you see Pinhead for the first time, yeah. it's like, oh my, like it's I don't terrif- know what that when, is. Yeah, when you're like an eight-year-old kid, it's terrifying. Yeah, the Halloween yeah, yeah. cover. Like there are covers, you're like, I don't know what it is. I want it. I yep. want to be a part of this. Yep. And so my mom would come over and I remember one day I was in there and I was browsing, you know, like Basket Case and whatever the horror movies were. And this guy came out of the saloon doors and I just looked up at him and he had a fucking stack of VHSs. I was like, wow, he really likes movies. That was my first thought. Big fucking sweaty fat guy, right? With these little tiny like Jeffrey Dahmer serial killer glasses. And this claw just grabs me and my mom yanks me back and she stared at this guy. I was like, this is exactly what it looked like at the end of Lion King where they're like, all right, now we're going to fight to the death over this rock. And she stared at this man. Uh, and he just crumbled and looked down at his stack of 20 tapes and fucking sauntered up to the desk. And I was like, but that if you used to want a J.O. back in the day, yeah, you had to get the wrath of moms and everyone in that store is like, look at this fucking piece look at of this shit. fucking piece of this shit. fucking scumbag. <laughs> this, this guy jacking off because it's like it. There's nothing wrong with it. Like yeah. you have this weird society where stuff like that's frowned upon. But, like, I think that's an important... <laughs> a weird society where J-O-ing in public is frowned upon. He wasn't J-O-ing in front of me. <laughs> he probably was just like, well, I've got my 24 porns. Um, while I drink Gatorade and have a refractory period, maybe he wants to watch Pumpkinhead. I don't know. So he probably went for one more real movie, and that's when my mom, like, judged the shit out of him. He just looked at his stack, and he's like, I should have forgot a real movie. I got to have a real movie for the top. You know, you got to sandwich him. It's like back in the day when it was. Those always had the bright stickers on them, too, so you knew they were porns. You'd see that circle sticker. It's like like, back in the day when, like, I would go to the store to buy condoms or whatever, like, (laughs) When I first started plowing or whatever, yeah. but I was like embarrassed to buy condoms, so I'd go get Isn't condoms. I well now I don't care because I don't I mean I don't wear them anymore. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> COVID's not <laughs> passed from genitals, right? But like I would go to the store <laughs> and get, and I would get the box of condoms, <laughs> and then I would just like grab like a candy bar or something just so 
<laughs> just so it wasn't the only thing I was buying. I was like, yeah, I like sex and chocolate. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who doesn't? Sex and candy. I was listening yeah. to Marcy Playground yeah. a lot. I saw, know, I mean, it just seemed like something yeah. Ricky Martin would approve of, right? Like, I want a candle and a candy bar. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's weird. Because, <laughs> like, I did that before. Because I also, it's like weird. Like, why do I feel ashamed to buy condoms? Yeah, I don't need more. Yeah. Like, but, like, no, me and my wife still do. Like, when we go to Target, yeah. she buys the condoms, right? And yeah. we're, like, there as, like, a family. <laughs> and it's like, well, I'm not coming shit. back to Target. Like, right. we're going to get the condoms right. now. And so, like, she will. She'll put it in the top basket. So it'll be, like, eggs, condom, and then, like, grapes and shit surrounding it. <laughs> and I'm, like, so when you're undoing it's like, what if these guys, like, the healthiest fuckers of all? <laughs> you know? And it's like, we still hide it. And it's like, when she goes, to, or, you know, whoever is, like, scanning, when they go to scan the condom, it is that, like, like you're looking around like, hey, kids, get that Lego out of your mouth. <laughs> but you don't want to acknowledge yeah. that you're being a respectful adult, unlike you, yeah. who's just running around slinging. Well, yeah. Doing it, man. Unmasking. Huh? Oh, yeah. You're anti-mask. Oh, yeah. For your dog. Anti-mask. <laughs> I'm, I'm a condom truther. <laughs> I, I had am. a buddy in college that like was really anti i'm kidding by the way yeah no yeah, yeah. i understand i'm not <laughs> condoning that it was just a funny joke i know we are putting this out to the internet where <laughs> everything will be taken as literal i can already imagine yeah. our bit our comedy bit on trump as the antichrist is going to get us some choice comments. oh yeah <laughs> but <laughs> but no i had a friend in college he was so against condoms because he was he was just like every time dude he's like i put it on there and it's like it's choking. It's choking the anaconda. He's like, I think they want it to fall off. I want it to be real. Dan. It's like, get real. I was always like, there's no way. I almost told him, I was like, let's go in the bathroom. You get as rock hard as you can, right? Like, I'll go to the video land through the saloon doors and I'll get 20 tapes and pumpkin head. You get rock hard. And I was like, there's no way it's cutting off. Circuit. Yeah. It just sounded like one of those lies. Like, my hug is so huge. And I was like, no. Yeah. Like, you can put an arm in a condom. Like, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Like, stop lying to yourself. <laughs> but he just was like, I can't, I can't. And then he's like, then my dick's all sticky. What am I going to do? I was like, shower. <laughs> you know, and it's just like this, the strangest conversation. What am I going to do? Yeah. <laughs> what, I'm just going to walk around stuck to myself all day? I just have to have a dirty dick all the time? Yeah. What? <laughs> what if someone wants to just suck it in math class? <laughs> I mean, it was just like the weirdest. Cause well, like, it's like, yeah. What? You just know someone's set in their yeah. ways, and they're just like, doing gymnastics yeah. to try to like justify their opinion. <laughs> well, it's like that thing you know like uh like i had a buddy say to me one time and he was like <laughs> he was uh there was like a hot cashier yeah at uh well, you know wherever he's like cvs or something and he was there for something else but he was like okay so he went and got fucking magnum condoms <laughs> to like to like flex on this girl so she had to ring him up and he was like yeah, yeah those are those are for me you know what i mean yeah. like and i was like dude that any of all that's the worst plan <laughs> of all time because like for, she's not gonna be impressed by that like nobody's gonna be like oh man oh, i gotta fuck this guy Whoa, like wow. that's not how it works right yeah no second of all if she did do that and then you got home and you pulled your real dick out and it didn't fit then you're just a, then you're just a jackass it's just like sliding <laughs> off <laughs> You know what I mean? Like she's, if my son tried to wear like, my oh, pants. Oh, I knew it was bullshit. <laughs> I knew that. Well, also, guys don't understand. Magnum is about wits. So you can have like a girthy little dick. <laughs> you know, like you can have like a little dwarven dick. <laughs> it's like a little stumpier, but short. Like the the misunderstanding of condom. The chode. And all this. Yeah, the, the fucking chode. The giant mushroom tip, like our commander in chief. <laughs> right? <laughs> just this little fucking Mario mushroom. But it's like, I just, it's weird to me that like these things aren't. Just more out in the open. Like, yeah. it's weird. It's weird. I don't yeah. like it. Like, I'm now I get hit up on Facebook, too, all the time. They're like, do you want boner pills in a discreet box that no one will know about? And I'm like, what? <laughs> but I get hit up with these all the time. I'm like, what am I looking up that they think I desperately I don't know. I think that's a good pills. play, though, because, like, if I looked across the street, my neighbor just had, like, a box of boner pills that I was, like, marked. Boner pills. I'm like, oh, what a loser. <laughs> you know, Why, though? Like, I don't know, because I'm a dick. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, but. I I'd be like, hey, theory. hey, softy. <laughs> soft. He's like, not in 30 He's minutes. He's like, damn it, I should have got the discreet box like this. <laughs> not in 30 minutes, bitch. Because that's my theory. I was like, why are all these? Because it's like the thing when my brother graduated, right? They're a little younger than me. Like, every one of the parents got divorced. Yeah. Like, my brother's class graduated high school, and it's like all the parents are like, oh, finally. Yeah. I can go to, you know, the local neon cactus <laughs> bar and fucking try to fuck college kids. Hell Thank yeah. Thank God. Yeah. But my theory was, I was like, there has to be something going on, right? Because, like, I've been, you know, going at it for a while now. I've been with my wife for a long time. 
And I was like, you know, you hit a point, and I was like, fuck, are we going to do this for, like, another, like, 30 years? Yeah. Of, like, slinging? Like, if we don't get into, like, some weird stuff, eventually you're like, it's going to be, enough's enough. <laughs> and then not even just my wife. I was like, all humans, right? Like, when I'm 60, am I going to risk the, like, bad one-night stand? Like, <clears throat> no. So that's my theory is yeah. that these pills, because I was like, what else do we have in life that is worse when you add chemical enhancements? <laughs> Nothing. So I think yeah. these old dudes are running around with these like yeah. Jose Canseco dogs. True dinger pills right there. You know what? I mean, they yeah. have to just be fucking dingling. Because then they're masters of they've had a lot of experience yeah. and age. They want it more. Yeah. And they know they're on a clock. So like, we got to really get it in <laughs> while we can. You know what I mean? Like, well, it's better. I mean, it's better. Like, OK, so I was at the bar like a few weeks ago. Yeah. What I don't remember what day or whatever. But uh, like I watched this old couple walk in. They were probably like 65. Mm hmm. You know, and they've been together forever and they sat at a table and they they ordered a beer from like whoever came over and served them the beer or whatever. As soon as they got their beers, he went like this and she had her phone and they sat there for like an hour and a half. I was like, I was total people watching, like creeping on them. <laughs> they didn't say a fucking word to each other. Old people on yeah, their phones. Didn't wow. say a fucking word to each other. He was like reading an article because he'd be like every now and then he'd be like, hmm, hmm. <laughs> But they didn't look at each They didn't say a word to each other. Then they got the bill and they left. And I was like, that just seems miserable. Yeah. That just seems miserable. Yeah. You know? And I, so maybe you should take the pills. But okay, maybe I or... should. Maybe I should have walked over to that table and said, normalize this and just handed him a pill. I'm be like, dude, maybe go fuck. But this bro, what go if fuck. he now no longer has to give effort in public. Like you see some old people, they're like, let's put on our matching pull. Yeah, maybe shirts. I'm wrong. Maybe they go home and they're just yeah. fucking animals. Well, maybe you know? they're both just like, God, we need. Maybe like, that's their cool down period. Yeah. They just go sit at the bar and they're like, Whew. maybe they're there to have a beer. because they're like, this is about to be a war. <laughs> they do like stab <laughs> porn and should they stab each other and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> so well, I wasn't even going. There. I'm just saying I'm thinking of the wildest shit. You yeah. know what I mean, and well, then they get just... to the bar and they're like, <sighs> what's well, like, what if I just told blowing you it out? I was like, yeah, Lou Ferrigno's coming over in 30 minutes, and he's going to fucking pulverize you for an hour. Way into that. You'd probably be like, I want a beer and a cigarette. Yeah. I want to think about, like, my strategy. Oh, and you can say Maybe whatever you want to him because he's deaf, too. <laughs> <laughs> you can say I whatever. I mean, in the literal interpretation of this, yes. Whatever you want to. But yeah, I mean, Would maybe you? they're just having the best. Because yeah. this is the other weird thing I see that actually used to piss me off, but now I think now that I've figured it out, it's not as bad. But when I'm out, like, when me and my wife would be out in our 20s and you'd see like an old couple and they're like, eh, let's wear our suits and ball gowns like it's the fucking ghost party at The Shining. And yeah, let's walk around and like they'd order their cheeseburger at like whatever hipster restaurant you're at. Sure. And then a song would come on. and be like, come on, honey. And they'd like dance in the middle of the table. Yeah. And I'm like, you fucking assholes. Like you don't love each other this much. And I'm like, well, maybe they do. because Now they, they got that fucking super they Saiyan don't. dick. They don't. That's for show. Well, but what if this couple had been? Or just when I'm out with my gal, I dance with her. You know, <laughs> we do suit. But me and my gal dance. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I was like. No woman can respect. Maybe love I'm, that, maybe man. we're just cynical. Maybe they are in love. You know what I mean? Well, they're in love because they had 40 years of normal. Yeah. Like basic white people sex. Humping. And now he's got this fucking Captain America style dong that can do all this new stuff. And she's like, I'll dance wherever the fuck yeah. you want. Well, Let's maybe that go. maybe it puts maybe the boner pills. Maybe they put song in your heart. And he's just like, I bet they fucking do. He's just, yeah. And he's going to just be sitting there and then fucking like <laughs> some like 1950s big band shit and starts playing in his heart. And he's like, fuck, yeah. He's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and I don't know if they have a female equivalent of that, but, like, maybe that's what we need. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, man. Pegasus, Pegasus. Yeah. Like, oh, I got to get up. Well, because I was like, <laughs> imagine <laughs> the depression of, like, when you have a bad run, right? Like, even now, like, every now and again, you'll have one. You're like, this is a bad run. You're oh, like, yeah. It's not all the way ready. <clears throat> you know, we're rushing it. You never find the rhythm. Yeah. You finish, and you're just kind of like, Ugh, why do we still do this? And like it'll take me out for like I'll waste like days like what happened what yeah went wrong. well that's imagine my, that at sixty yeah but that's, that's my theory for like for you know non married people though so like I think that's why people go back and fuck their exes because mm. like they'll go and you know and they'll get like the new thing after they break up or whatever and they're like ah this is like wasn't good so they don't maybe like maybe they don't like their ex but like they at least know how to do it you know what I yeah. mean. So it's like, okay, I'll do that. 
I don't know. It's stupid yeah. theory. I mean, no, I think it's right, I'm, though. I am a relationship doctor, so. <laughs> I'm also a ask, doctor. Ask anyone. Yeah. Uh, demon sperms of doctors, <laughs> yeah. But no, that's my, I mean, like, God, I'd be afraid if I broke up with someone. I went back and they're like, oh, this is why we broke up. You're like, no! No, that's never why, man. <laughs> that's never why. I'm way too awesome. Yeah, well, that must be it's, nice. It's, it's usually because I'm, like, too good. And they're, oh, like, really? and they're like, I can't handle it. Get yeah. out of here, Nick. Oh, my God. You're, just, you're the greatest guy ever. And it's, everything's great. <laughs> Nick, I work at Steak Farm. I can't and I'm like, no, babe, no. <laughs> She's like, I can't be sauntering up to the water cooler like I'm John Wayne after a long ride. Yeah. Well, and it's, it's like it's forbidden love, man. They're all like, what would everyone say? You know, that's how my relationships go. It's you definitely always, not that I'm an asshole or yeah, anything like no. that. Yeah, the, I love yeah. the world you're crafting right now. You've always been a good writer. I appreciate that. So. <laughs> what would everyone say? Yeah, right. Oh, God. Haven't you ever been in love? Yes, once, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm just writing a 1950s, like, uh, yeah. you know, I was talking about private detectives in porn stores earlier. Yeah. By the way, by the way, by the way, speaking of private detectives, uh, so, I, you know, I bartended full time. For a long time. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm talking like where I was in the bar, like, you know, four or five nights a week, mm -hmm. closing it down. Not once did a fucking private detective come in and like, show me a picture of somebody I'm like, do you remember this girl? You know, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, be I'm like, beat it, pal. I don't talk about my customers. And he's like, skins me a 20. You know, he's like, how about now? I'm like, yeah, I saw her the other night. She was in here with a couple of guys. <laughs> you know? He's choking you out. Like, I wa I've always wanted that to happen to me. <laughs> And I would, I would totally make him grease me, too, with the money. Like, yeah. I'd be Dude. the dickhead. Like, That's true. Like, and that, what happened to the like, private eye? Oh, I miss it, man. Is it just people on Facebook now, like, trying <laughs> to solve crimes? But I love how the bartender, like, the guy's trying to solve a murder, and the bartender's like, I ain't telling you nothing without $20. I hope the girl is dead, you know? <laughs> I fucking killed her. I mean, no. Yeah, I saw her in here. Yeah, a wild one, huh? Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, smelled like a, smelled like a, you know, roses. Yeah, I remember her. It was hard to see her through all the pubic bushes, <laughs> but I think it was her for sure. That's what I do, yeah. <laughs> she got a little bit too much hair for me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I think it, that's good. What happened to the private eye? I don't know. Because that was a job I was always like, I always thought, right? Be kick ass job. In like my twenties, I was like, so you just like get drunk, have sex with dangerous women. Wake up hungover and then walk around and be like, oh, I'm so hungover and mad. You pistol whip a couple guys yep. and you come back and fall asleep at your desk. You don't have to buy furniture and shit. I was like, that seems That's like awesome. the yeah. life I'm heading towards. Right. Yeah. Didn't work out that way. But yeah, like I, I, I had a friend. He got this thing now. They send you like a, a box, right? Like remember this craze started off with loot crate, right? Where it's like, do you want a box of random shit? You pay us and we'll send you like junk. Yeah. And then you can go online and pretend you're really excited about it so people know that you're a bigger fan than them, right? <laughs> horrible business model. Yeah. You give us money and we'll give you random shit, right? Like, it's a horrible, horrible <laughs> business model. That's kind of Our own friends just started doing this with scotch. We're oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah, now yeah. I can try all the campfires and, yeah. you know, like, I can just throw dirt in my face mm, that burns. And, yeah, it tastes like burnt wood. Oh, yeah. it's great. And they're like, oh, it comes with flavor guesser cards. And I'm like, <laughs> if I have to guess what the flavors are, it's probably not a great drink already. <laughs> mm, is, that, mm, is that beetroot? Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I actually enjoy this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's no way testicles were dripped in this. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, God, just watching them, like, go through the ritual, though, I was like, yeah. Imagine if you guys just bought a bottle of something you liked. That you wanted, yeah. Like, just buy what you like. Yeah. But I've seen this now, but now they have this box, right? Because they have, like, manliness boxes. Yeah. My mom for Christmas was like, do you want a box that'll send you random, like, beard and hair care products? So I was like, not really, but yeah. if you're going to get me socks, okay, like, whatever. Yeah. But now they have them where they'll send you, like, cold cases. Right. Like, here's a fucking murder. And, like, photocopies of evidence and maps and shit. Wait, that's this is a real thing? Yes, and you can try to solve crimes on your own. Dude. Because that's what I was trying to suss out. I, and what if you and I order them and we just solve them, like, right here on the... Like, that's what I'm saying. We come up with our own... Because oh. my buddy's convinced he's like, they're real crimes. I'm like, they're not real crimes. I'm like, they definitely have a guy who's written fake crimes. What if so it's like, are? I don't know the rules, but I'm like, they can't send you like dead body pictures. What if they're not sending you real evidence? What if it's like a really sick serial killer and he's the one that started the company oh. and under the guise, under the guise of, yeah, I just make these up. But really, these are his he's murders. basic instincting. Them. Yeah, dude. He's like the Zodiac, you know, 
He's like that's fucking sending awesome. out his own shit. Well, I mean, dude, I was watching this thing on HBO, right? The the East Area Rapist and the the Golden State Killer, right? Yeah, the, yeah. I'll be gone in the dark. I love serial killer docs. Man. Oh, it's it's yeah. a tough one to watch though, because yeah. like two episodes are like, well, we got fifty rapes to get through. <laughs> Let's watch a lady cry about what happened. You're like, God damn. <laughs> yeah, that's. It's rough. like look at the human that's rough. Ra- dude. One of them's like this married couple. Yeah. And the guy's like, he tied me up and he put dishes on my back. And he said, if I hear these dishes rattle, yeah, I'm going to kill your wife and kill you. And so he sat there helpless. Yeah. What listening to what this guy did. And then Ooh. the guy like just walked around, like drank his milk and made oh, sandwiches and shit. The worst. Like a fuck. I mean, this oh. guy's like the most disgusting, depraved kind of yeah. person. right? And you're watching this guy on the couch and he's just like, I just I, f- I didn't feel like a man. I felt like, and I was like, because I told my wife, she's like, well. You can't attack him because then he might make it worse and kill us. Right, like right. the psychologist is like, he's looking for an excuse to do worse things. I'm like, he's already in my fucking house right. with weapons. Yeah. I was like, I'm going oh, yeah. down trying to give you a chance to run. Yeah. Like, I was like, I'm fat enough. It might take like. Here's what I would have done. A couple shots. Yeah. yeah. What I did do. I was like, what I'm not tied doing. up in your living room. Yeah. I'm not getting tied up because to me, it's like, I don't want to live with the. Yeah, I don't know, but then they've had like a happy life, and they have all these fucking kids, and their life is great. I don't know how you go on, and but have they're a happy still life haunted. After that. They're yeah. still haunted. It'd just be, that'd just be terror, like every. But day. that's what I mean. Like I'd almost rather die, mm-hmm. but then you're like, they proved me wrong. Cause they had a great life. But anyways, yeah. So we're watching this whole thing, and it's all about how Patton Oswalt's wife, um, Michelle McNamara, I think her name was. Yeah. I'm really bad with names, so yeah, me I'm, too. I try to remember her name. Me too. But and she passed away, so R.I.P. Don't want to disrespect her, but Rip. she um. She essentially was just like an internet sleuth. And so like she was on chat boards and chasing stuff down and calling actual police and yeah. victims. And she fucking helped crack this case for real. Yeah. It's so like maybe there is a whole business model of, hey, we have these fucking boxes of shit that no one's using. Yeah. Photocopy that shit out and make it a game. I'm into it. Dude, like, we should solve not? crimes. I mean. I'll put Kent on. I'll go to like business. I'll cool. be Kent the private detective. <laughs> And fucking go to businesses and be like, have you seen this fucking girl? <laughs> <laughs> well, now that now that there's no cops, that'll be us. We'll handle like the redneck. Well, I'll be like, first of all, I'll be like, do you bunt? OK, I trust you. If they say no, I'll be like, I trust you. All right. I got some questions. You're like, if they do, yeah, and if they show do, me your yeah. bunting stance. And he's like, I knew it. <laughs> if they do bunt, then, you know, fuck them. Yeah, right. Well, you deserve whatever yeah, you I ain't got. getting no good information off you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you a snitch for the league. I knew it. <laughs> you fuck Mark ass bitch. Yeah, I. Sh- I don't know. I'm convinced these are not real, but I was like, if they are, yeah, that's pretty. Well, I don't cool. think like I don't think they can be real, because uh, like if it's like a, it's if it's a a case like a real case, mm-hmm. they can't just like release those documents. Yeah. Well, also I was like, if it's a know. real I, case, I th- I don't th- I, you know I am a doctor and also I am a lawyer. Sure. So from my lawyer Granted. expertise, I don't think they can. <laughs> <laughs> but no, my buddy is such a moron. He's convinced. He's like. I've been retracing things on the map and like, I think I see a pattern. I was like, yeah, I bet you do. It's written to have like, why do you think they gave you the map to draw yeah. with a Sharpie? You dumb fuck. Yeah. But he's like convinced. And I was like, if it was really that easy, they would have probably solved it. Cause you're yeah. dumb. You're not like a smart person. Yeah. Right. Like I play board games with you. Like, I know you're not a genius, <laughs> right? Like some master tactician. Not me. I am. No, like you probably would already have cracked it. <laughs> But then also, I was like, if it was real cases and it took you like 30 years to solve like these things do, you wouldn't keep ordering boxes the whole time. Yeah. You're like, I don't need the second box. I'm still working on the first <laughs> three year old. You're going to like you're going to like call me one day. and be like, I can't right now, Griffey. I'm deep in this case. <laughs> deep in this guy. Goddamn. Breathing down my neck. Captain's breathing down my neck. I got to go shake down this bartender. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be a good cop. I don't know, though, man. Maybe we need something to do. Yeah. Maybe as we're all locked up and we're not going to have jobs because of robots. And I'm into it. When the White House explodes into flames and we're like, well, now it's hell. So I'm yeah. really not going to go work at State Farm. I think we could do it. I think we could solve crimes. I'd be interested to try. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know because it's weird. I, I had this movie once, Hollywood Land, right? They made a movie. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. And they had the actual like. With, uh, Batman in it. Yes. And Bat they flex. had the actual like murder scene footage. Or was it called, I can't remember, it was a movie where, like, there was a big murder in yeah, Hollywood. Hollywood Land. And on the DVD, they had the actual crime scene footage. Ah, oh, that's gnarly. And they showed one of the fucking, like, straight up dead, lifeless bodies. Yeah. And, like, some bloody shit on the floor. And I, like, ran to the, granted, I've been smoking yeah. weed all day. So I was, like, 
tripping the fuck <laughs> out. I was like, bro, this they have a front door. We have a front door. Yeah. You know, I was like wigging out. And I was like, I'm going to go, Hurr! oh, God. And I'm like, I've got to go play Guitar Hero. This is too heavy for me. <laughs> so I don't know that I got the guts yeah. for it. <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> well, that's like uh, I was. I watched that Fear City that mm-hmm. the uh, uh, about the mobsters in New mm-hmm. York, the documentary. But they had like real pictures of like these when they would like kill each other, the mobsters, because mm-hmm. they're like turf wars and shit. But like the one, the dude was just sitting on the curb and he still had the cigar in his mouth oh. and he was just sitting there like that and just with a bullet hole like right through his head. It's fucking gnarly, dude. It's it's it brutal. Gnarly. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's weird because my wife always says that, too. She loves surgery shows. She loves Dr. Pimple Popper, like hideous shit. Like I can't there. do that. It's disgusting. Cause she likes medical stuff, yeah. right? She loves to watch the shows where it's like. I'm a 1,000 pound person, and they're gonna fucking hacksaw 800 pounds off me. Yeah, and I'm like, nah. I'm like, I like the story of seeing like, oh, look at the you know shell and cage I built around myself. Yeah, now I'm gonna try to better myself. I like that, but I'm like, it's gonna come the scene where they're holding like a big piece of torso, scraping fat out, and I'm gonna <laughs> run away and throw up. I can't yeah. stand surgeries I and all that. Either. And she's like, how do you watch horror movies all day? And Ooh. I was like. Because when Pinhead shoots a hook out of his titty, I'm not worried about that happening to me in my home. You know what I mean? Like, Jesus. It's like, I don't know. I don't don't think I'd have the guts. Yeah, I can't. I couldn't do it. It'd be brutal, man. Yeah. Because that's the thing they said in that show is like when she was writing the book and tracking it, she was having trouble sleeping and she got more and more into like sleeping pills and waking up pills. Right. Because it was like haunting her. Well, haunting. Yeah. Him. Well, John Mulaney does the bit about uh, <laughs> he's got that bit where he's talking about like how how fucking hard it must have been to be like a detective yeah. way back in the day, like before technology and shit. Because <laughs> like they would get to the crime scene and the guy would be like, "Hey, there's a puddle of blood," and he's like, "Gross, mop that up." <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's like, "Back to my hunch." <laughs> you know, <laughs> such a good bit. Yeah. That'd be me as a cop, be like, "Ooh, gross, blood." Yeah. Ew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I found some semen over there. I'll be outside. <laughs> Get this place clean before I show up next time. <laughs> like they didn't have evidence. They were just like, I think this might have been what happened. Well, that's how this case was. They're like, you know, when DNA hit on, they're like, get us all the panties from the 70s. Yeah. And we'll build like a DNA probe. I'm like, dude, that's crazy. I'll tell you what case I want to crack. Crazy. It's how fucking Rob Manfred still has a job. <laughs> what a fucking. Going and suspending my, my, new bo- my new best dude, Joe Kelly. Yeah. Fucking American hero. I watched American that. hero. Yeah. I, I, he has to be probably the yep. most popular baseball player in the world right and, now. Yeah, in the world. Not even close. He is the Michael Jordan right now. Yeah. He better ride that shit out. Awesome. I hope he comes back from his eight-game suspension yeah. and fucking throws at the first battery faces. <laughs> and he's just like... <laughs> Suck it. You know he's going to only hit yeah, batters. He just like he just adopts like the full on bad boy persona. He's like, fuck it. He's going to come out to wild thing with a I got Rex specs. I'm killing it right now. <laughs> you know, I'm you know pro Rex. I am, too. I am. Too. I own Rex specs for when yep. I play softball. <clears throat> Here's what I like about the story. Well, there's almost nothing to like about it because I text you and I was like, the sad thing is, is that the MLB is an actual fucking joke now. So right. Being a fan of the sport. And someone who tries to tell people it's like my favorite. Well, I always yeah. try to channel like Ken Burns where I'm like, there's a poetry to baseball right. on it. And I'm watching it now. And I was like, the product is not great so far. Like it is really weird in the stadium. I've had a good time watching it. Well, it's nice because like what I do now is I mostly tune it out. Like I'm doing other stuff while the game's on. Yeah. You hear a crack and you're like, oh, cool. But like if you actually just watch it, watch it. It is not a good TV product right now. Like it is rough. And then. So all this stuff about baseball, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. When Rob Manford came out and said the hunk of metal shit, we're yeah. not going to punish one of the most egregious cheating scandals of all yeah. time. I told you on this podcast, I said, people can't keep throwing at the Astros and bringing this up. Right. So he's going to hammer someone with suspensions to try to protect these cheaters well, and make this go away. That's that's my thing, though. Here's my thing with it. Once Once he chose... Yeah. Not to punish any of the Astros players. He should have been fired immediately. Yeah. Because, because when you get to this situation, basically what he has said is cheating is okay. It's un, we're not going to punish it. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, There's no fucking, you don't get suspended for cheating, which is stupid. That's just stupid. Mm -hmm. It's fucking wrong and it's fucking stupid. So he has no fucking merit. 
or 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 whatever to go and suspend somebody else for something else. Mm-hmm. Like once you say that you're not getting suspended for that, you can't turn around and suspend yeah. somebody else for a way less crime, mm-hmm. way lesser crime. He has well, no credibility. If someone None. comes out now and they were like, mm-hmm. we're doing the exact same thing the Astros did. Yeah. The question would be, could MLB punish them and be like, hey, the Astros were the warning. You're like, right. Fuck you. Right. Like, like I'd sacrifice a coach and a GM. If you're to win setting the series. bar there that yeah. cheating is not suspendable, then anything that is below that. Yeah. You can't get suspended for. Well, this is their backdoor argument is like, oh, we're for player safety and CTE because like you could get hit in the head. But also it's like Rob Manford, yeah. you might as well have thrown those pitches when you made that fucking yeah. choice. Yeah, you guarantee. The only thing players can get suspended for is like yeah. you know maybe like bringing a gun and shooting people. Yeah, that's probably because like the the, that's the, not the biggest baseball crime is already unpunishable. Yeah. So you can't yeah. suspend a guy for anything else. Only the president he could can. do that and yeah, be yeah. okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. When because he's gonna hide behind player safety, but this I mean my theory is so Joe Kelly got his eight games. He hit one guy on a night he couldn't control his ball anyways. Didn't hit the second guy. Had it, some of the most amazing shit talking. Yeah, Carlos Correa is the biggest bitch maybe ever he's, in the league. He's, yeah, he's the world's largest douchebag. I don't like saying that about guys because like what happens on the field, whatever. Everything he's done since this, yeah, shows me he's someone I could not respect as yeah. a human being. Right? He's a fake tough guy too. And he, he's an he idiot. He just tries to be a fake tough yeah. guy. I hate him. He's an idiot. We need Albert Bell back for one game to fucking annihilate oh, Carlos yeah. Correa on the path. <laughs> and it would be great. Shiver. And yeah, they'd be like, yeah. all right, we won't hit you anymore. Albert Bell crushed you. <laughs> but so now Joe Kelly mm-hmm. has more games suspended than all of the players that stole the fucking most important thing in the sport yeah. and have made MLB lose a huge percentage of what little credibility and popularity they had. Yeah. And now we're going to start because this is my thing. The players have to rally behind Joe Kelly. Yeah. Every player who goes up against the Astros, you take your sixth, seventh guy, right? Call someone up. Yep. You have him fucking drill the first two or three guys, take his eight game suspension. I don't say call so that by up. the end of the year, there's like a hundred pitchers who have served suspensions while I, the Astros played none. I don't call somebody up. I let my ace do it. So then he gets and a let COVID him suspend vacation. ten aces. The 10 best oh. players, you know what I mean? And they just keep doing Oh, that. Max Scherzer's going to mix his next right. start. Do you want right. that? Is that what you want? Yep. I mean, maybe the, the players have to do something. You cannot let nope. this go. The only way the only way I agree with that suspension is if Rob Manfred gets fired mm-hmm. and somebody else steps in and they suspend it. Yeah. But I don't I don't respect his decision. No. To fucking suspend people after he chose not to suspend sure. the worst fucking crime in baseball. Well, let me ask you. You this. know what I'm? Does that make sense? Like, no, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. with you. Yeah, I don't yeah. think Rob Manford because I well, we were watching on our live stream the baseball game, and he's trying to talk, and you're like, wow, look at him in his fucking picnic table shirt, being a little fucker, and that lightning bolt ripped across the sky behind him, and he's like, interview's over, game's over. I was like, that is the most <laughs> iconic microcosm image yeah. of Rob Manford's it's tenure for the MLB. Yeah, yeah. Is just the god himself is like, how dare you? <laughs> You know what I mean? And throwing lightning bolts at his dumb picnic table looking ass. And I was like, that's that's baseball now. That's where we're at. I, don't, I mean, the only thing, let me ask you this. If Joe Kelly would have drilled Bergman in the helmet. Bregman. Bregman. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, what I say? Bergman. Bregman. Yeah. If he would have drilled him in the helmet, would you be pro suspension? Not from Manfred. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I get you. No, I mean, I. Well, agree. I'm just saying, like uh, on on principle. Yeah, he can't suspend anybody for anything less than cheating. If it's a worse crime than cheating, then he still has credibility right. to suspend so because he hasn't set that precedent yet. Right. But he has set the bar at cheating is not suspendable. So yeah. anything below that, he has no grounds to to suspend anybody for anything. Yeah. Well, it's kind of sticking to our '80s movie symbolisms today, right? So. Leatherface kills a van full of teenagers. Yeah. Cuts them up. And you're like, well, the teens did walk on his property. <laughs> yeah. But then Leatherface turns around and serves that for dinner. And they're like, oh, did you get a health inspection in this house full of chicken bones and feathers? <laughs> now you're punished. One week, no cannibalism. I kill you. That's what Manfred's trying yeah. to do here. And it's like, that's like you already missed the whole fucking crime. Yeah, fuck that guy. But I mean, I don't know. <clears throat> because of this. And they're already missing some games because of COVID. Yeah. It doesn't seem like this is going to get a lot better. They didn't do the bubble like the NBA. They were going to play no. in Arizona. They're not like baseball right now. I mean, this is the saddest 
Because I even remember as a kid, the strike didn't bother me as a kid. And then the next yeah, but season I was amazing. It. Yeah. Well, that's true. I didn't understand that's it when true. I was a kid. But then, like, the best season ever was right after. So you're yeah. like, that's cool. But, uh, I mean, this is, like, again, me and my dad were talking. We watched the Ken Burns thing every year before the season. Oh, yeah. You're like, God, I love it when it's right. Baseball's great. Yeah. And what I've been watching, I was just like, I would never tell someone, like, hey, watch some baseball now. I don't know. I, I like, think the product is fine. And I think it's tough right now to, to judge the product, too, because, like, Sure. It's so different. Like, there's no fans in the right. stands. But that's what I like mean. That. It's it's hard. Yeah, yeah. It's but hard that, I think ev- I think every sport's going to have that har- that hurdle to, to get over. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's just going to be a weird... Well, imagine an NFL game mm. without fans. Or, yeah. God forbid, a college football game well, without NFL fans. Well, NFL have fans. They, 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 I mean, they don't care. Well, the Patriots <laughs> said they wanted to let 25% capacity yeah. in. What happened? Donta Hightower and, I, like, the defense what? is, let like, see Let all ya. of Boston go in there. Let them all just fucking go. <laughs> I hope I hope they fill, I hope they double capacity that stadium and everybody gets sick. If you want my honest opinion, I've kind of thought this for a while now because our friend's a doctor, and he's always lecturing me. Like you know, rightfully so, he's yeah, really yeah. scared. He's dealing with this front line. He has a kid. He's worried about for sure or two kids, right? And he's like, you know, you got to do better. It's not over. My wife's a nurse, so I get these lectures all the time. Sure, and I'm like, hey man, I'm mostly like a stay at home creature. Like I'm not the problem here. <laughs> you know, like fuck you. I don't go out anyways. Yeah, yeah. But I told him, I was like, dude, you lost the war. I was like, you're never getting this coronavirus like messaging back. Right. Because you guys said millions would die. Rightfully so. Right. You were trying to be cautious and lay out the stakes. Right. And I was like, when it was 100,000, that's a scary fucking number. Right. But we don't think it's scary. And we're like, well, what happened to millions? (laughs) So like dummies are like, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, like I said before, it's if there was if the big house in Michigan was like, Everyone at the big house died, yeah. right? Because that'll of, never happen. They're yeah. invincible. Michigan's the greatest. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that's what I mean. That's a fuck load of people. Yeah. Imagine how shocking that'd be. Yeah, yeah. But because it's like, oh, it's sickness. And like, we don't care anymore. Yeah. And I was like, now the masks are a political issue. I'm like, you're not getting the dumbs back. Yeah. You know, I told him, I'm like, you lost the war on the messaging. <laughs> so I told him. And plus, I didn't know the president was the Antichrist who couldn't catch it. Yeah. So that's not helping. Because I was like, if he got it. <laughs> If Trump got it and was like real well, like, sick, like from a hospital bed, yeah, yeah. he's like tweeting like my ventilator is the best. It's a goal. Like then people be like, oh, fuck, even yeah. he got it. But I, I told him I was like, if it's not like a million dead by Thanksgiving and like people are seeing all those empty chairs, like no one's back. So in theory, I was like, maybe we set up like a government sponsored like, hey, a monster truck rally for every city. <laughs> I'm in. And you draw in all those people. Right. And the rest of us hide for like three weeks. <laughs> and it's like, we'll just get this out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like the, the thing I saw. It was like, it was like for like the people that are like, it's not even a real disease or whatever. Like, Fuck. and because they don't want to wear the mask or whatever. Yeah. It's like, okay. So if you, if you're right, if you, if you put the mask on, right. Mm-hmm. Or if you don't wear the mask and you're right. Fine. But if you're wrong, like you could potentially kill people. Right. Yeah. So it's like and again, not you, yeah. like your mom. But the bit, like, <laughs> if you're right, you're wearing a mask, and like, oh shoot, you had to wear a mask, mm-hmm. like whatever. But if you're wrong and you're not wearing the mask, like people could die. Yeah. Like it's not that big of a deal. Like I, you know, like I don't, like I, you know, I'm not a doctor. I don't fucking know. Yeah. I don't fucking know. I don't know anything but, like, about science. You know that we've got a mask mandate here in, yeah. in in Hamilton County, and it's like, okay. Yeah, you just like, do it. I'll wear my mask when I'm like in in a store. Like, dude, fine. my five year old and two year old wear masks. Yeah. Like, you can do it. It's not, it's a, big, not, yeah, it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's, it's like not whatever. your fucking freedom. <laughs> What's the same? Because I always tell people, I'm like, hey man, you have the right to have a gun, right? right. That's a freedom. You don't have a, a right to shoot it in my backyard right. when I'm having a barbecue right. and hope that you don't kill right. people. Like, that's not a fucking freedom. I mean, every doctor except for the Breitbart ones have said, like, yeah. you <laughs> except know. Except for demon sperm lady. Wear a mask. So I'm like, okay, for now I'm going to listen to I'm you. I'm not going to lie. This might sound bad. Yeah. But when she, I looked up some of her shit and, like, I was reading her words about demon sperm and I'm like. It could the, be real, dude. No, I was like, I bet this lady's a hellcat. <laughs> like, I was, like, a little bit titillated. Oh. I was like, whoo. You know what I mean? <laughs> But I want to no, I, I I mean, do it now. I, I don't know. I, I don't give know. Her, I want to give her some of my demon seed. Yeah. Woo! Woo! The only one with demon seeds are president <laughs> and his metal ass family. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, the watching the White House erupt in hellfire and seeing spikes and whatever, amazing. <laughs> that would be the best. We're back. Little pause. Yeah, but you know, whatever. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a, I don't like, I don't want to have the mass debate. It's whatever. No, it's, we it's, don't want to talk. It's a, politics. Yeah, it's a futile effort, man. Yeah. 
But that's what but, I told uh, my friend, the doctor, because he's still trying. Yeah. And I was like, dude, you lost the war. Yeah. It's like, yeah. if you see any realm, like my brother, Skylar. Well, I'm not the dude love, either. He's, the, the, he's the most at-risk human being for this ever. Right. And he's like, fuck it, this hoax, whatever, masks don't matter. Right. And Fauci got caught at the Nationals game. Yeah, that, that was a ma- terrible look, dude. Because well, I was just like. You can't dude, be like, wear the mask, and then you just got to like, hang it off his right. face and shit. Well, yeah. what, he, what he said was right. He's like, we all got tested. It's a controlled environment. Right. Right. And I wanted to drink water. Right. And I was like, that's fine. But like, you have to be smarter to know, do it with a little fucking straw under your mask. <laughs> sit fucking four seats yeah. apart. Like, you got to be smart. Well, that's the thing is like, it's like, I'm like, I'll wear my mask. It's fine. Like, it doesn't mm-hmm. bother me. But I'm also not going to be like, if I'm out in public and I see somebody with that mask, I'm like, I don't care. I you just, know it's weird, I go though, my I own, but I know, but I'm not like yelling at him or whatever. Like I got, no, I have buddies no. that are like, I'm not wearing a mask. I'm like, that's fine. Whatever. Like, yeah, do you. I'm not going to preach to you. I'm not going well, to listen. Well, you're not going to win. And I'm not going to sure. listen to you preach to me. Like, you don't want to wear it, don't wear it. I'm going to wear mine. Yeah. And I'm going to fucking, that's fine. I'll go my way, whatever. It's fine. I just, I look at them and I'm like, <clears throat> I assume they are a less than person. <laughs> I'm just like, you're not worthy of wasting oxygen. Well, regardless of what what I'm saying, regardless of whatever you think, of, I'm, like, I'm not going to be like, put your mask on. You know what I mean? I'm no. not yelling at him at the store. No, 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 and no. Shit. But it's the like, same way. When you do I you, see, and I'm going to do me, and that's I it. When I see someone walking around with like a hat or a T-shirt that has weed leaves on it, because they built their entire personality around, hey, I like weed. Everyone likes weed. Fuck yeah. face. Like you're letting me know that you're one of those guys I would never smoke weed with, <laughs> yeah. and you should not be talked to. Yeah. I should leave you to your fagos and going to it's like Juggalo wor- concerts. That's my fa- one of my favorite like single bits ever is Daniel Tosh when he goes. <laughs> I hope they legalize weed. That way, potheads have nothing else to talk about ever again. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, dude, that's like yeah. the, the thing I've been trying to think of forever. Because yeah. it's, it's the most annoying shit. Like, you're not a pot guy. Like, you're, you're not into no. like pot And people. I don't care. Like, I don't care if you smoke pot. Like, whatever. Right. But I just can't stand the pothead. Like you were saying. that You just, would love it, though. Their only mode of, of communication is talking about yeah. pot. <laughs> oh, have you tried this strand? I was like, <laughs> dude. Well, it's like bad that beer That CBD people. oil people. Yeah. They're like, oh, what do, what do you got? The, uh, you broke your leg? You know what? Try some CBD. Well, they're worse because like, they dude, don't it's pretend it's about just getting <laughs> yeah. high. Like they're that. just like, this is really medicine. You You're know, like, the other day, really I not. came down with a touch of cancer. Just <laughs> I <drank> some, <laughs> a smidge of cancer. <laughs> I drank some CBD. And I mean, that was good. That was good. You should try I caught it. it. Yeah. I could feel it growing <laughs> in my body. So I stuck my finger in there with some <laughs> CBD oil. And it's fine. No. Yeah. They're <sighs> the, it's like the IPA beer guys. Like, there's a, but that's what I mean. There's a lot of yeah. things that people do. That I immediately judge them and I go, you're not worth my time. <laughs> yeah. There's billions of people on earth and I'll find someone better to <laughs> yeah. talk to. And when I see people not wearing masks, yeah. I saw we were in a store, Meyer, right? And like all these fat fucks walking in with like their whole family <laughs> of kids. They don't have masks. Their kids don't have masks. And I feel bad because I'm seriously like, I hope you all contract it. You guys are bad, less than people, right? Like, I'm not saying you have to. Yeah. I'm not saying cops should be pulling guns on people no. and dragging them out of stores for yeah. not doing it. But I do hope that they get sick, and I think they're less than. That's where I stand on it. You know, you know how I know that CBD is, like, <laughs> not a real thing, like, no science? Because there's three of them in every strip mall, three CBD... <laughs> Every guy, every guy named Jason in your town yeah. owns one of them and sells yeah. it for six dollars. Yeah, I mean, just think about it. Yeah, just think about it. It's not real. Well, if you go in and the person like, who's giving you the medical advice yeah. has white dreadlocks or a face tattoo, yeah, it's not science. Well, no, advice. like the other day, like when I fucked up my shoulder when we were filming, like last week, <laughs> like I fucked it up bad. Yeah, but like, and uh, dude, I was like in pain, and I had a buddy, and he was like, "Dude, go get the CBD oil cream," and I was like. No, yeah, I'd rather be in like pain. I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go get real medicine and like a real rub. <laughs> and sure enough, it worked. <laughs> yeah, know? weird. All better. Yeah, Tylenol just does yeah. the trick again. <laughs> for a hundred years, Tylenol, I've been waiting for you. To I slip. did like I felt bad because I just like rolled my eyes. I was like, no, nah, dude, like, yeah. I'm gonna. It's a shoulder ailment. Like I don't yeah. need any of your snake oil. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, everyone too. You can go on your social media and for sure. An ex-girlfriend that you liked hooking up with but not talking to and, like, the three dumbest guys from your high school <laughs> definitely have something where they try to sell you CBD For oil on sure. their post. For like, sure. That absolutely is a yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. It's not real. Stop Stop putting it on everything. Yeah. It's not, you know, it's not fucking, 
ranch dressing for disease. <laughs> you know, they just put it on everything, man. Did I tell you, this is the best video I've seen in years. But there's this lady in her car. And it's, I, it's just the last image I want the audience to have. This fucking lady's walking out of Walmart, pushing her cart. She opens the door on her fucking, my husband has a giant, or a small penis, giant SUV, right? Yeah. And she's putting groceries in, and the lady, for some reason, started filming her. So she must have been doing something wild. She's like, don't do it, bitch. Don't do it. She takes the ranch, twists it off, and just <laughs> takes a big-ass chug. Shoots it. In the summer, and the lady in the car's like, no! <laughs> and I was like, that is... 2020 America to me. Hey, we're shooting ranch. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.